Did opposition meet in Patna? And you have the word coming in from Union Home Minister Ramit Shah, who's taken a jibe at the Grand Old Party. Union Home Minister Ramit Shah launches an all-out attack on the opposition parties in Rahul Gandhi, and he said, I'm quoting, Opposition parties are trying hard to somehow make Rahul Baba as the Prime Minister face. This attack uh, comes a day before opposition is set to hold a joint rally in Patna. The word coming in from Amit Shah. A Congress party pura jor laga rahi hai Rahul Baba ko Pradhan Mantri banane ke liye. Mere desh bhar mein, pure desh bhar mein dora kar raha hoon. ये सत्रवा राज्य है मेरा जहां जहां जाता हूं मैं हर जगह पूछता हूं कि अगला प्रधानमंत्री कौन बनेगा आपको भी पूछूंगा जरा मीडिया से देश सुने ऐसे बताना भैया बताओ 2024 में इस देश का प्रधानमंत्री कौन बनेगा जरा जोर से बोलो कौन बनेगा my colleague Pallavi with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, this is a bugle for 2024. And keeping in mind the manner in which opposition unity is all set to find a stage, the response and the attack coming in from the Home Minister. And ironically, the, the, who is going to become the Prime Minister is one issue which the opposition party certainly doesn't want to talk about because they know it's a very tricky issue and this is going to be left till after electoral results are out. And should the opposition parties actually come up with a good performance where they can form the government, I think a call will be taken most likely on the basis of who gets the maximum number of seats. But clearly this is setting the cat among the pigeons. As far as the Congress goes, the Congress certainly would want Rahul Gandhi to be projected as a Prime Minister. And they often have said that officially, Anusha, mm -hmm. on different platforms. But as far as the other opposition parties are concerned, not everyone is comfortable in doing business with him. I mean, you know, it's very clear that Sharad Pawar, Mamta Banerjee are not very happy with the idea of a Rahul Gandhi leading from the front. So on this issue, they would certainly want to remain silent. I think the strategy also as a part of the BJP is very simple. Set the cat among the pigeons leads to confusion, divide and rule. Because <laughs> clearly the fissures within the opposition is very, very clear. The fishes are very clear. Palavi, uh, uh, that opposition meet, how important it's going to be? Which are the parties which are giving it a miss? Any, any big players? Interestingly, Jain Chaudhary, the RLD, which has been an ally of the Congress uh, and also of the Samajwadi Party at some point of time, they are not going to be attending it. But apart from that, Naveen Patnaik, KCR, Jagan Mohan Reddy, these political parties have always never been a part of any attempts at opposition unity. But barring them, important parties like TMC, ARP, Congress will be there. And I, and interestingly, all these three parties are at loggerheads with each other. So therefore, that's one problem area. Challenge will be to whether this proposal that in 450 seats at least there should be only one one joint candidate, can that be implemented? That's going to be one problem. Second, as we have reported, the ordinance issue. Will that be brushed under the carpet? If the ARP wants to make this an issue, what will be the Congress's stand? Will it once again bring out the contradiction and division within the opposition? Uh, that is also going to be something which is going to be watching out, worth watching out for. All right. Uh, Palavi Ghosh carrying us all the details.